Hello. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Oh, hi. Good evening. The guy in the picture was like this. You were like this, and I was like this. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> was. <laughs> hey, Sandra. How are hi, you? Teacher. How was your weekend? Mm, very good. It was good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. What about oh, you, Alan? My weekend? I don't know. It was okay. <laughs> Nothing interesting. How was my How was my weekend? Yes, mm. how was it? I don't know. I'm probably tired. <laughs> it was tiring. Yes. All right, Anna. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thanks. How's your weekend? Um, uh, it was good. I uh, share with my daughter and I spent time. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I spent time with my daughter. Uh -huh. I spent time with my daughter. Uh -huh. Okay, right. good. How old is your daughter? Uh, eleven. Okay. Yeah, she has eleven. She is. She is 11. 11. Right. Okay. Like and 100 teams. <laughs> like, <laughs> ah, yeah, the majority of them are 11. You're right. Stranger things. Um, guys, did you finish the midterm? Unit one, two, three, and the midterm? <gasps> Sandra. Sorry. <laughs> really? Sorry. You finished? <laughs> you too? Not Anna, yet. you finished not the midterm? Not, not yet, but I. Mm -hmm. I almost finished. Almost. Yeah. Tonight. Okay. Yeah, let's try to do it tonight, please. Because um, yes. it was due by yesterday. <laughs> yeah, really? you were supposed to finish on Sunday. <laughs> yes. Híjole, ya aplazamos esto. No. <laughs> no, y hay que mandar los documentos. Let's go, Ale. Ale. <laughs> It's no, el, hay que haber terminado la, uni, la sección 1, 2, 3 y el midterm. Y como hay que enviar los documentos y todo, van a estar pendientes de quienes no han trabajado, asumen que no están en clase o algo así. Que... No, pero solo la 3 y... me hace falta y el midterm. Ok, let's try to so, o sea, yeah, el, Pero solo es un midterm, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah. y todas las tres secciones. Mm -hmm. Where is it the mid train? <laughs> train, train, or train, no sé cómo se dice. After, after section three. O sea, usted solo dándole next, 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 hasta que llegue yes. el mid -term. From all the ends. Ah, pues no, last... todavía no he llegado. Pero hoy lo estaba haciendo, de hecho. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, well, we can do that. I was busy. I was busy because we are in the planification the next press request. Oh, how do you say press one in the next budget? Yeah, let me write that for you because that's information you need at work. So, uh, yeah, presupuesto is budget, guys. Budget. Okay, budget. Sorry. All right, welcome everyone. I see uh, Victor, Maria, Raul, Jose. Hi, guys. Hi. Okay, does anybody have questions about the midterm? Or are we good to continue? Raul, <laughs> siempre con sueño, Raul. <laughs> From the very start. Okay, I guess we're gonna continue then, right? So let's do this. Can you read the objective, please, Jose Luis? Okay. Practice asking and answering questions in English using the present perfect and simple past tense. In this lesson, English teacher your science explains from the simple past versus the present perfect tense depending on the time frame of the Asian. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever and describing your past experience by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. These relations include an English oral Okay, very good, thank you. I'm gonna mute everyone because mm -hmm. I can hear a lot of background noise. 
So we're gonna start a new topic and I was saying, right? Let me, okay, raise your hand, raise your hand if you have completed the midterm already. Raise your hand, let me see. One, two, three, four, <gasps> five. Okay, <laughs> what happened with the rest of you guys? <laughs> let me see, Anna, Elizabeth, you finished, right? Okay, yeah. Osmin, you finished the midterm, no? Yes. Okay, well, the majority has finished, I think. If you haven't, please hurry up and try to finish those units. Uh, section one, two, three, and the midterm, please. Era para ayer, so you're already very late. Anyway, uh, let's see, let's start in section four, okay? Please open the platform, right? Así no se trazan, van conmigo a la parte. So we're gonna see the difference between the simple past and the simple present. You know, right? Notebooks out, let's take notes. Let's write down here some information about this. Here we go. Let's watch. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information. Because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom, it's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now, the question is related to uh, the example that you see there, I tried him last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. They were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect. And then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? 
Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. So let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it, um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be yes, I have or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month. So I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now, the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now, all of the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see, the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect and the simple past to talk about 
things that you either started in the past, continue the present, and then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience. Okay. So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like did you like it? How would you respond to that? Well, you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did or no, I didn't. I thought it was great. Or, I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Okay, we... Mm, hold on, yeah, we, we can Have you ever visited Europe? This. Have you ever... Okay, we're gonna start by discussing these questions that are already made, that's fine. And then we're gonna do an exercise together, okay? So, this time you're using the past participle of the verb, not the past anymore. If you don't know what the past participle is, you can Google it or you can use the list I sent you last time, right? So, for example, you write eat past participle if you don't know what it is. And then it shows you here and it says it's eaten or eaten, all right? Or if you have, for example, C, what's the past participle of C, guys? Any ideas? Seen. Uh -huh, seen, it's right here. So mm. if you don't want to use the list, you can also simply type the verb and then pass part participle so you can find it. For example, uh, lose. What's the past participle of lose? The same. Or loosen, loosen. No, it's actually lost. It's not here, but if you open it, let me see, the past tense of lose is lost and past participle is lost. So here you have the answer, right? That's in case you don't know it. First, let's discuss these questions very quickly in four minutes, okay? And then I will give you an exercise to practice speaking too. You have questions about this? How to answer the question? Now, if I ask, let me see, Victor, I'm going to ask you the first question. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? What are you going to answer? Yes, I have. Exactly, guys. That's the answer. Yes, I have or no, I haven't. Okay. And then you give more details. All right. I said the questions. So if I ask you that question, you say, yes, I have or no, I haven't. But you have to give additional details. You can say, I went to the beach in, I don't know, 2010 with my friends. And here you start using the past to give details. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. And we had a picnic. So on. So you answer the question and then start talking in the past. All right. Let's practice that. All the questions right now. So, hold on. All right. Accept the invitation, please. Good evening. Good evening.
The first question is, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? No, I haven't. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. I went to the beach last weekend. And did you have a picnic there? Uh, not picnic, but asado. How do you barbecue. Say? Barbecue. Yummy. Hello, right? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> What about you, Elizabeth? I don't have a picnic. I haven't had. I haven't had. Haven't had. Yeah, the okay. second verb is in the past participle form. So haven't had a picnic. Okay. I, I haven't had a haven't picnic. Had with the, right. What about in the park or somewhere else? You have never ever had a picnic in your life? Uh, yes, I I had a picnic um, in 20, 2018. Mm -hmm. um, I went uh, with my family uh, to the Parque Bicentenario. That's a great place for picnics. Okay. And you, Jose? I don't know what kind what kind of picnic that you you prefer, but because I that's great. I can't remember if I if I've been in a picnic at the beach. So I will I I will respond that I haven't I haven't been in a picnic at the beach. I can't remember, really. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Yo dije, ve, quizás le está ayudando a, a Tati. <laughs> Nos confundió, ¿verdad, Tatiana? <laughs> okay. Okay, yes, I have. Um, I like, or oh, I prefer uh, tacos. Mm, delicious. Delicious. Yes, delicious. Have, have you ever tasted a quesadilla, Mexican quesadilla? Yes, yes, I, I, I tried. Those are very. But, but, but I, I really love the, the gringas. Gringa. No, uh -huh, the gringas. It's, it's not only the, the cheese with the, with the, with the tortilla. Or the have burritos. Meat. Ah, the burritos is really yes. good too. Yeah, I feel hungry right now. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the nachos. The other is the, the nachos. Yeah, the nachos. nachos with, with chili. Tacos. With chilies. Yeah. With chilies and. Uh -huh. It's chili. It's great. Yeah. It's, it's a good, it's a good uh, food. Uh -huh. Did you try, did you try the. I don't know how, how is the name of the it's corn it it's a it's corn spicy corn mosquites mosquetes no no I never esquites, tried this it. esquites did you, did you try the esquites it's a Mexican food have esquites. you tried have you tried probado. yeah have you tried mosquites have you tried the the esquites <laughs> <laughs> I have seen them. Ah, I wish you? I could try Hi, them. Me. How are you? Hi. <laughs> have you tried them, the esquites? No? Only no, see. they look delicious. I want to try them. You, but need, yeah. you need to try. Where did you try them, Alan? In El Salvador? Hey. Yeah, here in El Salvador. Seriously, yeah. I never saw that in El Salvador. Yeah. yeah. Let me see if they years have ago, here in Argentina. Let me check. Mm -hmm. a, few, a few years ago... The Mexican food here, it was a crazy thing. Uh, it was oh, it was opened a new restaurants of Mexican food here. So in Laca Laca Laca, mm -hmm. I try one and they have so much kind yeah. of Mexican food. Yeah. 
So mm, no, I don't think it's. And like what it. about you, Osmin? Do you like? Have you ever eaten the Mexican food? Um, no, I haven't. Why? Uh, because I like frijoles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wait for everyone to come back. <clears throat> so I sent you this to WhatsApp, guys. Take a look. I sent you this, right? What you have to do is you have to make the yes, no question using present perfect and then discuss the answers, all right? So it's more difficult this time. Level two or game over, okay? Let's go to level two. So how do you make this question? You're gonna start all the questions with, all the questions you're gonna start them by saying, have you ever, all right? So have you ever, all of them, have you ever, la la la. So the first one is, have you ever, what's the past participle of drive? Driving, road, I don't know. Driven. driven. Okay, so my question is going to be Have you ever driven a sports car? <laughs> I think, no, I have never driven a sports car. And the answer is going to be I have never driven a sports car, or yes, I have. And give details, right? Last year I went to. Uh, el jabalí, la la la, I don't know, whatever it is, all right? So you have Toreto. <laughs> Toreto. <laughs> okay, how do you ask this question in the present perfect form? Have you ever, all of them are going to be, have you ever? Have yes. you ever played, played? Have you ever played, played golf? Played, played golf. golf. Yes, exactly. Have you ever played golf? And the answer is yes, I have. No, I haven't. And so on. Is that clear? Or you yeah, need one more example? Yeah. Have you ever ghost another country? What's the past participle went. of go? No, no what went. is the past? Go. Don't. Go. Okay, look, go past participle. If you don't know it, if nobody in the team knows it well, past participle is went. one. No, gone. Gone. Ah, gone. Gone is the past participle. It says. Yeah, okay. So that's okay. Gone. Have, have you ever, ever gone, gone to another country? And you say yes, I have. I have gone. Yes, I have. To I la la la. Have. To Mexico. I have gone yes, to Spain. It depends. Ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's work with different people. Let me recreate the rooms. Hold on. Okay, accept the invitation, please. Let's practice. Mm. <clears throat> uh, no. Mm. Hi, Tatiana. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Oscar. Tatiana, do you have the image? 
Is she going to send something? Uh, Girl. He already sent me the WhatsApp mm. group. I'm here. I'm here. I, I am here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Have you have you ever driven uh have you ever driven a sport car? Sport Sorry, car? driven. Driving. Sorry. Driving. Driven. Have you ever driven? driven? Okay. No. I have even driving drive. I have never sport driven. Cars. Driving I sport never. cars. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I am gone. Mm -hmm. Gone. Yeah. Another are you gone. Ever... Hey, here is another people here. Hey, how are you, Mauricio? Mauricio. <laughs> Hi, Miss. Hi. I think that Mauricio maybe maybe he he or, or cool play ball. Oh. Okay, Mauricio, have you have you ever no? Have How you ever? Have you ever gone to another country? Mauricio. We don't listen. Open yes, your, yes. your 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 mic is off, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he's sorry, moved. okay. Yes, I yes, I have. I uh, I gone to uh, I no, I went to another country the last year. Um, I went to the Mexico. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't. I cannot uh, play golf. Okay. I I have never played golf. And you, Oscar? No, I have, I have, I have ever played golf. <laughs> if it's never, Oscar say, I have never. I have, I have never. never. Mm -hmm. I have okay. never played. Right, I have never played. played. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And you, Tatiana? No, I haven't. Um, because um, I didn't have I didn't have opportunity. Okay. Okay. And next, have you ever gone gone another country, Tatiana? Have you ever? Have you ever gone? Another country. Um, no, I haven't. For a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. I I go to Mexico. And you also? Yes, I have it. Uh, I go to I gone to the Mexico. I have gone to Mexico. You too, everybody here yes. has gone to Mexico. I wanna go now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But you need a visa to go to Mexico, right? Yes. 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 Hmm. Okay. Uh okay. I wish I could go to Mexico just to eat. <laughs> To eat tacos, burritos. I, oh my gosh, their food is delicious. I I, I love too uh, Mexican food. It's the best. That's number one. Number two is no, Peruvian no. food. You have to try Peruvian food, guys. No, no. Number one uh, is pupusa. Okay, sorry. Excuse me. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> number two, Mexican. Yes, number two. <laughs> Three, Peruvian. You have to try that. Peruana. I think there is a restaurant in El Salvador. So, yeah, try to find that. Okay. All right. 
past, past including past participle pair yeah. singular. No, I don't know. It's not in the right, group. right, right. Past participle of right, written, written, wrote, wrote this. Past All right, no, that's a pass, right? Row, right? Pass, right. first of all, right. Right. Written. R-I-D-E-N. Written. Have you ever read a horse? Ridden a horse. Have yes. you ever ridden a horse? A horse? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> An elephant, I don't know. I, know. I can't remember. <laughs> I only, can't remember. Only in the dream. Only in the yeah, dream. Yeah. Probably in some. Or in the carousel. In yeah. A, in, a, in a in a strange dream, I can't remember right now. <laughs> Sandra and Jose Luis, have you ever ridden a, a horse? Yes. When I was a child. When, when I was a child. <laughs> Why? Me too. When I was a child, why is it that when we're children, yeah. we ride horses? What? I, yes. <laughs> I, I was, how do you say, madrina? And the godmother. Yeah, that's where the, the, the carreras. <laughs> like raised godmother? Really? Yes. My mother all the time. Oh, my, my daughter, my daughter. <laughs> she, she can. Right. She can was. The, como dijo madrina, mother, yeah, right? Mother. She always wanted you to be the godmother. <laughs> yes, you oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> okay, great. Let me see what's the here, next question. Uh -huh. Here in Opico is, is really usual. R to, ride, no. to, to ride horses is usual. To ride horses is usual. Sometimes probably one one or two times at the year. A year. I, Once or twice a year. a year. One or twice a year. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Where in yeah. Opico? In San Juan Opico, yes. Ah, really? Pro probably uh huh. Hipodromo. Where is it? <laughs> yeah, Where some is it? some some friends have have horses. So I was to the Fincas, uh -huh. uh -huh. farm, uh -huh. Uh -huh. to the farms, to the, to their farms, and I, and I ride the horses. Okay. 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 In the okay. Paso de Alaska too, <laughs> when you visit it. <laughs> yeah. Probably in, in Ruta de las Flores. Yes. Right. Very pretty. Okay. There's you are another welcome. question. All <laughs> in love. What's the past participle of fall? Fail. Um, no, sorry, that's the past. What's the past participle? Have you fallen. ever fallen? fallen? Yes. Have you ever fallen in love? In love. Have you ever fallen in love, Raúl? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. I've, I fell in one time. Just once, okay. Just once, yes. All right. <laughs> what about now? You, you, the majority in this group are single, right? Are you single? No. <laughs> Instead, you're single. Victor, you too, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Anna is not. Okay. But have you ever fallen in love, Anna? Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <laughs> come on. Four, 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 times. <laughs> four times. Let me see me, maybe once, once. And you, Esther? Um, Esther, how old are you? 30, 34 years. 34 years old. Okay, that's the perfect time. So you get a I boyfriend have, or something so no i i i don't know how to say in, in english but i have uh, one boyfriend for 13 years mm -hmm. you have so, or you have I, had had i tenia or tenia because that's the difference between tenia. present perfect and past okay so i have <laughs> had a boyfriend for 13 years have. oh no and what happened <laughs> sorry guys 
one <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, and what happened <laughs> so i'm i am joining my single I'm, <laughs> so i i'm fine I have a question, Esther. Sorry, excuse my my curiosity. <laughs> Is this guy married now? No, he's not married. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. No, because you know what I observed in El Salvador is that long relationships usually the guy gets somebody else and they get married instantly no. after mm -hmm. a long relationship. That's How long time? Bold. How long time? She uh, was. Uh, a relationship uh-huh how long time 13 years how long was she in a relationship 13 years <laughs> <laughs> so she's tired of relationships right now yes <laughs> she's free <laughs> i'm <Right>. free <laughs> awesome so the next sentence needed needed have I'm you ever a famous needed. person Miriam. Oh, no, no, no. The past. Is what is the past participle? Met. 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 Ah. Okay. Meet, met, have met. Have you ever, regular. have you ever met a famous person? Uh -huh. Mauricio. Have you ever met? Um, no, I, well, famous person. No, I haven't. I don't think. Really? So. You don't, uh, you don't know. No, los hermanos Flores. <laughs> really? <laughs> La Yulisa Ventura, the teacher, yeah. yo sí. <laughs> yeah, I know the teacher. She has her her yeah, own cha YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. she yeah. Yeah, I she know, has. I know her. She has a, a singer. Oh, yeah. you yeah, have seen she... it, Jose Luis? What? You have seen the channel? No. Nope. <laughs> really? Okay. I subscribe <laughs> to your channel. Lo vamos a aplazar, Jose Luis. <laughs> Bad answer, man. <laughs> <laughs> one point less. <laughs> Minus one point for you. I <laughs> have one point yes. for, for practice honest. Hey, and you, Jose Luis, have you ever met a famous person? No, I haven't, but maybe. But uh, one time I I, I met uh, I, I don't know who is who is the names a uh, uh, a guy who who don't have hair in the in the hair, and he made, he, he made uh uh funny on his videos. He's very ridiculous, but I don't know. I, I don't remember his name. La Choli. It was a comedian. Yeah, he is a comedian and, and he he made a, uh the funny videos, but I, I don't know who his name is. He's very ridiculous. It's national uh, or yeah, international? He's national. He's national. Mm. El gordo Max. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you went in my... 16. Yes, I have. I bought my... I bought the last computer. In... 2019. 19. Mm -hmm. The last year. The last year, yes. It's newer. Yeah. <laughs> I have bought a computer, but like three years ago, I guess, something like that. It's older. It is very <laughs> lenta. Low. 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 But uh, it works, is it's okay. Yeah, it works at least. You need update the hardware. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I I think that the fact cost is very slow. So no is
we was we were <clears throat> at the best question yeah <laughs> your your mic is off miss your mic your mic is off My mic. Okay. okay your That's mic what happens to everyone <laughs> so, okay. so i'm sorry sorry for interrupting um now i'm gonna ask everyone okay be ready to raise your hand so that i can have all answers here um have you raise your hand if it's a yes okay so have you ever driven a sports car just two people have you ever played golf where did you play jose luis in guatemala city okay i played mini golf in, in la gran via <laughs> a long time ago yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have one Okay, have you ever gone to another country? Even if it's Guatemala, guys, even if it's Guatemala, it counts, all right? Raise your hand. Yeah, who, who, who <laughs> Guatemala? <laughs> okay, have you ever eaten sushi? Yeah. No, I can't. Raul, try Philadelphia sushi. It's delicious. If you like mm. Philadelphia cheese, you're gonna like it. Have you ever seen a black and white film? Yeah. Yeah. Have, um, Cantinflas, yes, right? That's a, every Sunday, I remember. Pedro have Infante. Aha, uh -huh, that too. Friday. Uh -huh. Capulina. Uh -huh. Capulina. 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 Uh, yeah, that one. I used to see them on Sundays too. Have you ever won a competition? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of competition, Sandra? and play tennis oh wow tennis and you Oscar? and football soccer serena william <laughs> is there an anna <laughs> what kind of competition i i win a com i won a competition for my university to uh love i don't know how to say penal derecho penal mm -hmm. like um, I don't know penal, but yeah, for I, I'm not good for rights. sports, but but in the university, I I won a competition. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that would be more like a contest, not a competition, but yes, a contest. Have you ever met a famous person? Raise your hand. If you have. You go. One, two. Okay, just two. have you ever read a book in English? Mm hmm. Okay, a everybody workbook. should try that. A workbook. <laughs> Have you ever fallen in love? <sighs> love is in the air. Every, come on, everybody has to raise their hand right now. It. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever made a snowman? No. <laughs> no, no. no, don't cry. Don't cry. There, I want to. You want to. Is there, where did you build a snowman? In the United States. In 2004, a lot of time. A long time ago. Yeah, I built one in, in New Jersey, I think. Have you ever bought a computer? <laughs> Everybody's like, yes, I have one. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's do the last exercise. All right, let's go back to the platform. That was fun. Okay, section 4.2. Okay, I would like you to practice this dialogue, but I cannot open it for some reason. I don't know. You probably have the same problem. Okay. Okay. So let's do the listening, right? Or has Katie or Kathy, I don't know what they're going to say, ever eaten snails? So listen to the audio. We have to answer the following questions. What did Steve order? True or false? All right, we're going to do this together. Let me play the audio for you. Okay. It says there was a problem. Let me see here. Trimmer. Listen and practice. Hey. hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? 
Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. Wait. It sounds scary. Okay, I guess that's it. So, um, what is the answer for number one? First. Wait. Yes, she, she has. She ate snails last week. Okay. What is Steve yes, order? Make two. Steve Three. order. A two. Two. He ordered fried snail. Fried brain. Ah, see. Steve order fried brain. Uh-huh. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> you see the brains here? Oh my, that is so disgusting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> True or false? The simple past is a tense that involves events that happened in the past and have been completed. They're true. over. Is that true or false, guys? False. I think it's false. It's true. It's true. True. It's true. True. Past simple is for events that are already finished. It's and different. have been completed. Yes. Okay, what is a correct response to the question? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? What's the answer? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I went to Mexican restaurant. Right. Last Remember, week. I said last time, right, that if I ask you a question with have, you have to answer with have. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, number five. What is correct? What is the correct response? Did you drink coffee yes, this morning? Yes, I did. Yes, I, I did. Right, because the question mm. is with did. did right? Send it. Okay. Send it. Oh, 50. It has to be right. 50 out of 50. Good job. All right. Very good. So do you guys have the structure for the for yes, no questions? I mean, for uh, present perfect? You have a structure? No? Okay. Uh, well, let's identify it together quickly, right? I'm going to give you an example. You're going to say, she has traveled to five countries in her life. Okay, what is the structure? What is she? Subject. Subject. What is has? It's a verb. And no, yeah. it's a. Uh, uh, it's the auxiliary. But the in this auxiliary. case, we're going to use have or has, okay? What has is her. traveled? Verb. It's in, a verb. The verb in what form? Past. Past what? Very fast. It has to be past participle. Past participle. Yeah. Uh -huh. past part. Yes, when you have ed, it's the same for both of them, right? So this is the structure of the past. Well, the present perfect okay we're gonna continue practicing past and present perfect tomorrow okay All right so you have any questions i no la copie sorry i go back okay there it is no borre profe <laughs> sorry there it is okay hey thank you very teacher yes yeah, you could give or you could you could send us the the at the at the list of the verb. Do you have that the, the list of the verb in in present okay. past and past participle? Yes, I think I sent it last time, and I'm just gonna <laughs> send it again. Hold on. Okay, there it is. I sent it again. So those are the most common ones. We have yeah. a lot of verbs, like hundreds of verbs, but these are the most common ones. So if you don't, you have to memorize at least these and then the rest of them, well, with practice, you're gonna memorize them, okay? Ah, okay, thanks. Yes, all right, guys. Thank you very much for being with me tonight. Bye. It was good seeing you as always. Bye. Okay. Bye. You have a beautiful Bye. night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.